Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will be discussing about the subcontracting in Odoo 17 manufacturing module. So to manage with the subcontracting first, we have to enable this feature from the configuration settings of manufacturing module. So what is actually subcontracting? Subcontracting in Odoo is the facility of um, just getting the product that, that can be a part of product or entire product from an external subcontractor or from an external manufacturer. So the main advantage of using the subcontracting is that this potentially reduces the production cost and you can also get wide varieties of product on your production. So let's see how can we manage the subcontracting in Odoo 17 manufacturing module. To manage with the subcontracting in Odoo 17 manufacturing module, first we have to enable the manufacturer to resupply from the warehouses. So here we can see that we have enabled that feature. Now let's uh, configure the subcontracting in Odoo. For that, navigate into the manufacturing module under the configuration settings. Tick the checkbox next to the subcontracting settings under the operation heading and you can save the uh, changes. So we have enabled that. Once the subcontracting settings is enabled, it is necessary to properly configure the subcontracted product and product's POM. So in manufacturing, uh, subcontracting is the process of companies engaging a third-party manufacturer or a subcontractor to manufacture the product that are sold by the contracting company. In basic subcontracting, the subcontractor is responsible for acquiring the necessary components. This means that the contracting company only has to worry about what happens to the subcontracted products once they are produced. The workflow for purchasing a product manufactured using subcontracting is very similar to that one used when purchasing a non-subcontracted product from a vendor. So the main differences are the way subcontracted products are configured and the fact that subcontracted products uh, take longer to send from vendor since they must be first manufactured by them. Now let's move on to the products and let's see um, the components that is required for manufacturing the product table. So here we just need to ensure that we have properly designated the subcontractor and properly designated the routes for each of the components for uh, manufacturing the product that is uh, the subcontracted product table. So here you can find the uh, product which is a uh, bold one of the components that is used. So here you can designate the subcontractor who is Azure interior and uh, um, we have to properly set the root as resupply subcontract on order. So we have to set this uh, in all other components. Later on, let's move on to the product table. Here you can see the root is just buy. So whenever uh, the vendor tries to buy the product, um, um, yeah, uh, table, first all these components should be subcontracted, then only we can just buy this uh, product table. And um, under the uh, purchase tab, it is not important to set the uh, vendor over here. Now let's uh, consider the BOM of this product, which is the bill of material. So here you can find the bill of material, which is uh, uh, subcontracting. So you can just provide the reference as subcontracting. And uh, here, in order to manage with the subcontracting, you have to set the type as uh, subcontracting, where you have to set the subcontractors and uh, you can find the details over here. So we just require 10 quantity of screw in order to subcontract the item and 10 ball, one uh, tabletop and four leg. Later on, you can save the changes that you have made. Now let's move on to the manufacture, I mean purchase module in order to purchase the item. So as we just try to purchase the item, here you can see that first we have to subcontract all these components from the manufacturer. Now let's add the vendor uh, that is the subcontractor Azure Interior, uh, Barden Freeman and you can choose a product over here. So the product is a uh, table and as the um, user try to purchase the product from the vendor Azure Bardman, here you can see that you will get an additional um, yeah, uh, tab called uh, or smart button called resupply. So before purchasing the uh, product table, we have to resupply the components in order to um, buy the product. So here you can see that these are the components that we are just going to subcontract from the subcontractor Azure Interior. 
So let's click on validate and you, here you can see the product availability is set to available. So let's click on validate and here you can um, just validate the process and if you want to view the source purchase order you can also find that. So this shows the source over here and now we can just receive the item. So in order to receive the item in this talk you can just click on receive product where we can just click on validate and you would be able to find uh, that we have currently added the product into our stock. Now under the subcontracting here you can see that the components that are subcontracted with the number of quantities that is used and all. So um, yeah that's all of uh, dealing with the subcontracting which is the very basics of subcontracting in Odoo 17 manufacturing module. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the subcontracting in Odoo 17 manufacturing module. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.